Maybe I'll go back on my word and do a night expedition. But first, I need to sing a ballad or something to Yanni to make up for my sins. I need to apologize to all of the Yanni fans out there. I don't know what to sing, though. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, indeed. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we completed most of the below-grade Discotech, which was the second most voted cave in my poll, and the one I wanted to save as a bit of a finale for Serene Shores. And now, as you can plainly see, THE Arachnorb, the one in the trailers where the Pikmin were grooving. Oh my god, look up there. I'm gonna zoom in for you. You can see it hanging from its web by its big old stompy feet. Ooh, this is gonna be such a fun boss battle. Okay, before I go in, I thought about this for a little bit. I took my usual break I do when I bulk record episodes. And, you know, jokingly to go along with what I said before. You know, use the bathroom, stretched, got a drink of water, all the good stuff. <laughs> And I thought about how I was going to beat this thing. I think having all of my Pikmin scattered around is not going to be helpful. I think that's a fast way for them all to get squashed and die, and for me to become very, very sad. <laughs> so, my big plan is to keep them on Ochi most of the time, to use spices liberally if needed, and... And to pray that I'm gonna be okay. Yep, that's my strategy. Let's get to it. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh. Actually, before I get in there, looks like I might have some nectar over here. And or another spicy. Nectar, excellent. Come on, lads. Come on, lasses. Ah! Flowered wings. Oh, this is gonna be so good. The only problem with riding Ochi this whole time is that I'm not gonna be able to charge my winged Pikmin. Because I feel like they're gonna be a big help here. Or could be. Ugh. But you know what? I'm strong. We can hear some music. We can hear some grooves. This is gonna rule. I can already tell this boss fight's gonna be sick. Let's do it. Wait. Whoa. Okay, okay, calm down. Yo? Oh man, they're not doing any damage. Oh. Was that an air horn? <laughs> Gah! It's confusing the Pikmin! Our best option in this situation is to defeat the creature responsible. Oh. My goodness. Okay, come on, fellas. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, revised strategy. I need to take in a small squad. <laughs> and it doesn't look like wings are really gonna help here. I'm still gonna flower all my Pikmin. So let me take care of that real quick first. Guys, the music though? The music? Oh my goodness. Ah. No flower wings for now, that's okay. I'm gonna do my favorite thing in the entire world and 
disband for 12 minutes. <laughs> All right. Red Pikmin. I'm sure yellow Pikmin could reach it easier, but red Pikmin are gonna do more damage. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna keep out of the way of that spray if I got anything to say about it. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I need you guys to understand that this is... Oh. Extremely cool, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Up. Uh, well. It's okay. It's okay. We need to beat you up. I wonder if that makes the effects wear off quicker. It does not. It does not. It does not. Okay. Excellent. Good to know. Or wait, are they permanently locked into dancing like this? No, they aren't. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, it's shaking me! It's tossing my Pikmin everywhere! You know, I wonder if I had the bit ultimate bite, the big chomp Ochi thing, if that would help. But it doesn't matter. Cause this guy's dead. Oh, I lost so many red Pikmin. It's okay, buddies. It's okay, buddies. I'm going to renew your numbers at camp. If there are any corpses left on the overworld that I can access, because I believe it should be low tide in Serene Shores, I will let my red Pikmin carry that honor as they have carried me through this battle. Oh. Guys, that battle was lit. The boss music, though? That was not disco, but it was immensely cool. And for that, I will forgive it, this cave, for calling itself a discotheque. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ochi, do we have any buried treasures I should be worried about, or are we good to go? Nope. I'm gonna take that as a we're good as soon as we bring this guy back home. Onward, ladies and gentlemen, my beloved Sparkies. Who might this lovely person be? Good work on that rescue. Let's see what we can learn from this ID. Ooh, Vonda from planet Enohe. Not Enohe, Enohe, interplanetary opera singer. She fiercely believes that what unexplored lands need most is art. So she hired and flew a TV crew to this planet to create some. <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am? <laughs> Who's gonna be around to enjoy the art if it's basically uninhabited? I mean, now we know it's inhabited because of all the castaways we've been rescuing, but like, man, art is there to be appreciated by others. And if there is no one else to appreciate it, if it's just you, okay, yeah, yeah, it's technically still art, but still. Okay. Hey, isn't this that opera singer who's always on TV? She's really famous for her performance in, um, what was it again? Picture. Oh, good. Someone else from the TV crew. That'll be a relief to Muggs. Man. Did... This TV crew is nuts. What is happening here? Okay, so Muggs is a reporter, and that much is fair game, right? That seems legit, wanting to do a news story on this unexplored planet. 
but a musician? An opera singer? Hello? That's so wild. Anyway, we finished this cave long before I thought we would, and now I need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do for the rest of this episode and the next one. But first, treasures. We have the Thrill Ride Track, the Sphere of Vitality, the Sphere of Truth, the Soul Reverberator. Ooh, that's cool. Olf <laughs> Olfactory Sculpture? I mean, is it wrong? Turn of Events Track, Relentless Sphere, Sphere of Beginnings, Amplified Amplifier, yeah, I remember that one from Pikmin 2. Plenty of nuggets and some creatures. Investigation complete. Whew, okay. I've only been recording for like 11 <laughs> minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. We'll figure out what to do with the rest of this day. Let's make sure that we actually finish Shireen Shores. And if not, I guess it's gonna be a chill rest of the episode, maybe? Oh man, explored 100% of cave. <gasps> there is something else. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know what I wanna do. I promised my red Pikmin that I would help them reclaim some of their numbers after that absolute catastrophe. Alrighty. Got my little red mins. Oop. No, 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 no. We want them to be red. Why am I slipping? Why am I slipping? Damn it. Crap on a stick. Okay. I guess I'm sniffing out the treasure first. Let's go, Ochi. Let's go. Let's find wherever this buried thing is because it's... Oh... So that's the source of the scent. Aha. At least it's nice and close to base. I was worried it would be on the other side of the map. Fabulous. Okay, yeah, and now I can just make sure that my red Pikmin aren't as sad anymore. <laughs> this feels so weird. Like... I'm pretty sure with that treasure, we're finishing Serene Shores. I mean, I guess we'll find out once I get the notification. But if that's true... Wow, I'm gonna be leaving the very first area I opened this Let's Play with. What an odd emotion. Hum? Do... Do we still have more? <gasps> we still have more. Okay. Okay, hang on. Ochi? Where's the next piece of treasure? Uh-oh. Where's my other babies? Those guys are gonna make it. Uh, well, I guess I am going to do a chill day. <laughs> I don't think I'll do it on screen because there's not gonna be any new surprises. But I will at least catch my recording for the remainder. Everybody else is back at camp. Okay, good. When I get the last treasure, wherever it is, I'm going to catch that. And then I'm probably going to skip to the end of day. Or I'll just end it there. I don't think I got enough red Pikmin to make up for my sins. <laughs> I guess I'll find out on the end of day screen. Fingers crossed it wasn't an insane amount of net casualties. Right? Hey, everybody! So good to see you all! Aww. Alright, day 21. We rescued Vonda and an unnamed leafling. <gasps> I saw that. I saw that way over there. The Princess Pearl. And the Emperor Whistle. Okay, excellent. Was there anything else that I'm missing? Some stately rubber cuties, Dawn Pustules, Zest Bomb. 
Works for me. All right. Oh, I gained 32 red Pikmin and lost 20. 20 is a, uh, ugh. it's kind of a hard pill to swallow, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. They still net gained numbers. Ooh. Oh, this should be interesting. Captain Olimar is from Hakatate, isn't he? I hear that planet's quite well known for its vegetables. Apparently, they're indescribably delicious. Honey. It's always been a dream of mine to one day eat a genuine Hakatate golden pick pick carrot. But they're so expensive, I haven't had the right occasion to justify it. Ah, yes! Golden pick pick carrots! Just talking about them brings me back to Mother's Kitchen and her amazing cooking. She blend them in a mixer until they were liquefied, nutritious, delicious, and extremely efficient for consumption. <laughs> oh, wow. She took all those beautiful, expensive carrots and made juice? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Same hat, Colin. Same hat. Does that even count as cooking? Ah, oh, well now, don't insult her cooking. If it's cooking to her, it's cooking to her. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Welp. I guess we're going back to Serene Shores for one more day to wrap up that last little bit. You know, I didn't even actually look at what percent done I am. So before I talk to people, I just need to check. Let's take a look. Oh boy. 99%. I knew it. <laughs> Man, rip. <laughs> just just rip. I could have had it all. And yet I in my hubris I missed but a single treasure. Oh. Oh the pick minity. Well, at least now that we're here, we can talk to some of the people who have new stuff or old stuff. Looks like I've completed an objective for Kingsley. So let's give him a visit. Make no. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. Excellent. Another 30 materials. Happy to assist you, sir. Uh -huh. It's the same dialogue as before. I gotta keep blooming. Again, you are quite lucky that I hate wasting nectar. Freeze A. It looks like he has new dialogue. Oh, wait, no. Oh! Oh, Vonda, you're hanging out with him. That's sweet. Humo. It is I, yes, the famous Vonda. You must be Kip Kip, is that right? A little birdie on the research task force told me that it was you who rescued me. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, lovely. I seem to be overwhelmed with emotion at the thought. I don't know how to express my gratitude. He could sing me a little song, maybe? I think that would be pretty cool. Osa, hey, what's good, man? Oi! Oi! For all the things you built, please, you gotta take this. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. 20 structures, fantastic. <laughs> Intriguing fact, when you use raw material, you get more raw material. It's a true perpetual motion building machine. <laughs> Build all structures. Alright, I'm gonna guess that means 30? 30? That sounds about right. Man, I would love to do a stream with these two. Ugh! I miss going there, but... I mean, while I'm back at camp, I may as well take a second, since I don't have to rush to do anything. I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible! Yeah. <laughs> Impossible, like the mere notion that your mom would blend golden pick pick carrots. <laughs> you know, that feels like a schoolyard insult now that I say it. I did not intend for it to sound like that. Air armor plus plus? Oh my lord. <laughs> that sounds like something fun to save up for. Uh, Kip Kip doesn't usually get hit. I've been told I really should start investing in these Ochi resistances. 
Huh. <sighs> There's nothing here I immediately really want. The unfortunate truth is that I don't know what the next area's like yet. So, I'm not sure what would be the most optimal thing to get for it. So I think I'm gonna refrain for now, actually. What I'm not gonna refrain from, for, for once, is training Ochi. Because I think I have four pup drive. Yeah, I have four, so I can definitely learn something. Big Chomp, Mega Rush, and I already maxed out Command, so... Hmm, do I want Big Chomp or Mega Rush? For night missions, actually, I think Big Chomp might be a bit of a better investment, so I'm gonna go with that. Good boy! Great work, Ochi! I've got just the reward for you! Yep, we're not gonna slack, ma'am, don't you worry. Hmm. Well, this episode definitely feels a little too short for my taste. Maybe I'll go back on my word and do a night expedition. But first, I need to sing a ballad or something to Yanni to make up for my sins. I need to apologize to all of the Yanni fans out there. I don't know what to sing, though. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, indeed. So, originally I sang a small snippet of a love ballad back at camp during this recording session. Show me the light, someone to lead and guide me. Then I thought, hell, why not put it to music? I need you to get me through the night. But then it occurred to me, Yanni's not really a love ballad type. Is he? No, no, no. Our eccentric doctor loves a good experiment. Doing something a little more interesting and, frankly, a bit bizarre. I imagine he'd appreciate a... Let's just call it creative attempt at a confession, even if he doesn't reciprocate. Kip Kip and I worked out the lyrics. It's for a genre neither of us have ever performed. So hopefully Yanni can appreciate her effort to keep it fresh. Here we go. Oh, I feel it in the glow of the luminal I sense our connections irrefutable I gather up the Pikmin, use a glow mob and fear nothing Till I go back to the core ever so dutiful I fend off all the creatures till the break of dawn Your challenges and praise tell me to bring it on Between us we got it handled, I don't want to cause a scandal But your heart's my final goal, oh won't you be my Yanni? Oh yeah. Yanni baby. Let's make like glow sap and get lit, shall we? That was so bad! <laughs> oh, remind me to never sing on YouTube again. <laughs> okay. Actually, for real, this is a good way for me to reclaim my lost honor. I am going to use the glow mob. I've got a strat TM in mind here. And the strat is as follows. I send Ochi to guard the luminal. Meanwhile, I, as Kip Kip, go around, collect glow pellets, slash star bits, as usual. As soon as Ochi is in trouble, I use Go Here with Kip Kip, and as she heads back, I switch to Ochi. So that I can toss Pikmin around. And once Kip Kip returns, I switch to her, and then I can use Glow Mob against all the beasts. Sound good? Awesome. I'm not ready. Yanni, it's time. It's time, oh darling of Kip Kip. <laughs> Let's go! Misshapen Pond, danger level two. 
Check the danger level before you begin. That way you'll know when it's safest to start your exploration. It's not gonna be safe, but you know what? <laughs> I believe as long as we're together, and by together I mean apart with you telling me to get more glow Pikmin. <laughs> I think we could do it, man. We got this, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh boy. Next tier of luminal def- Wait, what? Yeah. I just noticed that there are two luminals in the back. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. Hey, new blood. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Could you please politely tell me what the actual flack is going on? About tonight's location, you should find two luminals. Luna. That's exciting, because if you protect them until morning, we can harvest two glow saps. <laughs> ah, tits. My hypothesis is that the two luminals are connected underground. What does that mean? Well, if one breaks, neither will release glow sap. <laughs> FML, dude. There's only one of you, so this might be a good time to take advantage of Ochi's protection skills. Alright, so that strat I just said, I'm gonna throw that <laughs> out the window, I guess. Rip me. I did not anticipate there being a second <laughs> luminal. At least they're close. I guess he's gonna start right here for this luminal. This is a dead end. So I think I want to go out and get star bits around here. Oh boy. Come on, darlings. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last night. What with my dilly-dallying. It is gonna be critically important to get as many of these as possible. Work with Ochi on a solid defense. I plan to. I plan to, because this is gonna get hectic. Oh no. Well, I tried using Glow Mob and that didn't work so well. What is going on with my camera? Mines? Actually, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. I hate... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. I hate... Using... I hate killing these things. I mean, I guess it's easier to get them from behind like this, so there's that, I guess? Yeah, go on, go on. Ugh. This is fine, this is fine. <gasps> no! Oh no, don't even with these! Ball warb larvae, why? Blue luminal is under attack. That's okay. Ochi is a king and a legend. And I trust him. I trust in my doge. Oh, for God's sake. No, 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 no. <sighs> Morning can't come soon enough. You bet your ass it can't. Oh. At least they make it pretty easy to gather those. We've got some more coming over to the blue one. That's fine. The orange one is the one that needs more help. Although, you know, I think the orange one is basically safe. I'm gonna head on over so I can help Ochi. Oh. Oh, it's Bulborb larvae? Ugh. Okay. I understand. It's fine. Oh, well. Ochi got himself into a tussle? That is fine. Oh no. I need- I need my glow mob to get off cooldown! Oh! Come on, tusky boy! Oh. A 
trick knoll is being attacked, that's probably fine. I'm sure it's just another joust knight. And while that sucks... Yeah, uh, the creatures, the trick knoll. I know, I know. Life sucks and then you die. But this is okay. Because I'm going to make sure... I know, I know they're attacking a trick knoll. That's, that's one of the benefits of having a trick knoll. Is for creatures to just attack it. Oh. My good grief. Um, commands? I think Ochi should go to the orange luminal now, right? Yes, 100% he should go to the orange one. Oh, but the expedition is about to end. Well, isn't that lovely? Why did this go so much smoother? Man, I guess the benefits of using... <laughs> A what's it called? The benefits of using Glow Mob far outweigh the nonsense of my stupidity, even on the earlier levels. Good grief! Guys, that was smooth! That was like baby's bottom, professional decorated cake. Amazingly smooth. Why did I pick those two examples? <laughs> oh, I completely missed Yanni's dialogue. I'm sorry, oh darling of Kip Kip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kip Kip, Ochi, you did it! Yeah! Dame la sap, please! Alright then, new blood, go collect that glow sap. Man. Well. I hope that this helps reclaim my lost honor. <laughs> uh, by the time this episode goes up, if everything went according to plan, it should be the day after I return from vacation, when I'm probably going to be face down in my sofa trying to recover from <laughs> the time difference. Because I'm such a terrible traveler. But, uh... You know, hopefully you guys are gonna be nice to me in the comments. <laughs> I plan to get to all of them really soon if I haven't started already. Whew. I love this music. And I love the fact that we got two cures. Ooh. We're gonna cure a blue and a pink leafling. And we've got our pup drive up to level three. All right. Let's see our new friends! Hey, nice job with the night expeditions! Oh. No, Dingo, don't eat that. No. Ah! Oh, uh, excuse me. But yes, excellent work there on the night expedition, Kip Kip. I thought he was sleeping, like dreaming that Dingo was gonna eat something he shouldn't. Oh my god, does Dingo have a big appetite? No one's appetite's gonna match Louis. Like,. <laughs> I highly, highly doubt they would give that to more characters than Louis and Brittany by a much shorter margin, but... <laughs> you feeling a bit groggy right now? Oh, ah, uh, no, I just dozed off for a second, that's all. As always, I'm awake and totally alert for these night expeditions. Okay, so Colin was just dreaming about it. You're hearing my transmissions loud and clear, right, Kip Kip? Well, I'm the night expedition guide, so it's okay for you to get some sleep, Colin. No, it isn't. I'm the Rescue Corps comms operator. I can't sleep on the job. Besides, I always make sure to take a quick nap before anyone sets out, so I'm fine. I see. Then please, why don't you try a special concoction of mine? I call it Tired Be Gone. <laughs> You're telling me it's perfectly okay to drink something that color? Really? Oh no. <laughs> uh, sir, on this planet, we call that coffee. And yes, the brown color, the you know, uh, varying shades is a normal feature of the drink. Did I do a question of the day? If I did, then this is gonna be kinda silly, but uh, Really random, potentially second question of the day. Are you a coffee person or a tea person? 
I'm tea all the way, but on days where I just literally cannot wake up, I'll get a dirty shot in it or something. Anyway. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Double new friends. Woohoo! Aw, look at them. We've got Patch from Planet Flukui. A true gambler who revels in the game of life and leaves it all up to fate. He came to this planet with high hopes and high stakes. Chewy from Planet Nietzsche Key. A mid-ranking travel agent at Satella Travel. She organized the Uncharted Planet Tour to save the company from bankruptcy. Ooh. You might want to talk to the president about the whole going bankrupt thing. <laughs> Maybe he could give you slightly better ideas, like collecting treasure on a hostile alien world? Actually, scratch that. That's a horrible idea. Who would ever do such a thing? No. And of course, we're going to hear what they have to say, but not now. In the next episode. So, actually, next time is probably going to be a cleanup episode. I think I'm going to go back to Serene Shores, get that literal, probably very last treasure of the area. Honestly, rip me <laughs> for not finding it sooner. And I'm going to gather up some more Pikmin and raw materials that day. I'll probably do like a cut or a time lapse. Maybe I'll put a voiceover on it or something as I go through and leave in the part where I find the new treasure. Then I'm going to go around, talk to people. And depending on how long it takes, I'm going to try to get gold in both Dandori challenges that I haven't done yet. So, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone! <laughs>